What's up guys, Mike from Jersey Connected. Today I got the LeBron James Space Jam jersey in hand. If you have the Nike app and have a membership, which is free to join, you got early access to the two jerseys they did release. They had the one that LeBron's wearing and the Goon Squad jersey. Shout out to Ian for DMing me on Instagram and putting me on and letting me know that they actually had it on the uh, apps. Coincidentally, today's the release date for Space Jam A New Legacy and today I got my jersey delivered. I don't know if Nike were purposely timing it like that just so people could wear their jerseys to the movies, but if they did or it was an accident, hey, that's smart marketing. I'm gonna give it to them on that one. LeBron is my guy, but I grew up on the original Space Jam, so I'm gonna have a high expectation for that movie. I can't check it out tonight. I gotta go to work, so no spoilers, guys. Don't tell me what happens. I got a little sidetracked with that Space Jam talk, but in today's video, we're just gonna unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and hopefully help you decide if you wanna purchase one of these jerseys yourself. So if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel, just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so when I drop new videos, or when there's new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into this. So bought it at Nike.com, was it for 120, 110, somewhere in that range. It's supposed to be a swingman jersey, but this is what it came in. And right here we got the packaging. It's pretty much your standard Nike package. So 120 for sure. And right here we got the first look, boom. So look at that, you got Toon Squad in the front. It's a very bright jersey. You got the Nike swoosh, you got the LeBron James logo, the king. And then this is the back side. No name, you just have number six on the back. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Starting off at the collar, you have the rib material on the collar, and it comes with a two-tone colorway. So you have blue and red. And on the arm openings, you got the same style. And when we take a look at the jersey base, this is a polyester jersey base. It has that kind of like silkier texture. It's nice and light. And you can see how it has a little shine when the lights hit it makes the colors pop and then when we go to the numbering since there's no name on the back this is one whole piece and these colors are printed on so it's like a printed graphic and they are single stitched as you can see the stitching nice and clean and then when we look at the design on the back so you can see that like semi-circle there's a little gradient change on the colors, but these colors are actually sublimated onto the fabric or dyed on, so these don't fit. And that right there, guys, is the back of the jersey. On the flip side, you got the same collar style. Red and blue, arm openings, you got the same thing as well. And when we go to the neck label, so let me get this out the way. You got the Nike symbol. The fabric changes, so I think they heat press this on. So it feels a little different than the actual fabric. And then you got dry fit, made in Thailand. I'm not sure what that logo is, but you got that there. And then when we go to the Nike swoosh, I feel like it's a lot smaller than the typical Nike swoosh. Um, it could be just proportion to the jersey size. This is a medium but it's small and it's actually embroidered onto the jersey. And then when we go on the other side, you got the LeBron James King logo and that is also embroidered as well. Nice and clean. Then we got Toon Squad. So they got the same material that they used in the back and this is all single stitched. So, this is actually one whole printed piece. Like, it's one whole piece, no separations or anything. And those are all stitched down. And when we go to the jock tag right down there, you got Toon Squad, Strive for Greatness, LeBron's uh, motto, the logo. And then you got his animated face right there. And the patch material is sti well, it's light and it's stitched down. And then you can see the design on the front side. All sublimated, the colors really pop on these jerseys. Nice colorway. Let me see if they have wash tags like the, oh, right here, oh, cool. So, 
you get your standard Nike wash tag made in Thailand, that little code, and then inspection tag, QC, quality control. And then this one's a new thing. Space Jam, a new legacy. That's dope. Actually, one more thing. I feel like retail tags. So it's a little different than the regular Nike retail tags. They have it like a recycled ca cardboard material. So it says dry fit, Nike, 120, medium. They don't have all that other excess tags like the other Nike products. Recycled fibers, move to zero. So they really kind of just lighten that up. And that right there, guys, is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 175 pounds. I wear a t-shirt size medium. I chose a medium and it actually fits really nicely. Um, they fit similar to a Nike Swingman jersey, but the material is just a little different. That silky material doesn't stretch as much as a Swingman. So, I mean, it's very similar. But right here we got the front of the jersey. Look at that. You got the side panel. You can see where that circle is. The complete circle here. And then you got the other side which is a solid colorway here then you got the back of the jersey and that's pretty much a jersey the stitched pieces you would think it would be a little heavier it's actually lighter than actual swingman jersey I think the polyester is a lot lighter and then the materials that they use is pretty light as well overall I think it's a nice looking jersey I do like the little touches that they add like the LeBron James logo the king and then his animated face. This is definitely just gonna be a piece for my LeBron James collection. I don't think I'm gonna wear it, but you know, if this was someone else's jersey or they had a different number on the back or if it wasn't LeBron James, I probably would not buy this jersey. It's priced at 120. They could have easily priced it at 110. I feel like the materials are a little cheaper. I mean, I get that they had to add embroidery. You have to sublimate all the fabrics and things like that. So that probably drove up the price, but if it was a regular Toon Squad jersey, I wouldn't get it. Only because it's Braun, and that's about it. What do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching again. And on to the movie and see if it's any good.